For the Dr. Pascal, the minor criteria is a family history. And if the go dog go to the, the grass, the, go the, the garden, or to go to the park to take a walk, and the dog will onset some clinical lesions on the skin, such as erysema, papule, and the scratching. And also the dog will show some rhinitis. And the history of the articariasis, angel edema, acrobic dermatitis, hyperhidrosis, and the lichenifications of the fault of the hook and the cranial surface of a carpus, like th this part. And in 2010, the International Task Force of Kenya Atopic Neurotitis, Dr. Farod, made another criteria. He said, if on, uh, as same as the tone within says criteria, Pascal criteria also, if they have the three signs fixed with the major criteria, the three signs fixed with the minor criteria, the dog can be diagnosed as an atopic dermatitis. And Dr. Farrow's Favre, criteria is onset the signs under three years of age. And uh, very interesting, dog living mostly indoor is very, very interesting to the change. Well, in the maybe 10 years ago, five years ago, everybody say, we'll ask the owner, are you, is your dog always go for a walk in the park and will onset the legion? This is very important, but 2010 is changed. Corticosteroid response pruritus. And the pruritus seen a material at the onset. This means no legion, but the dog will itching. And they say affect the front feet, affect ear penis, but it doesn't affect the ear margin. Of course, if we find the dog has a ear margins, legion, and the very itching, maybe we should first consider is sarcoptic scabby. None affected the dorsal lumbar areas. Well, in my country, in Taiwan, if I saw these legions, I will first consider about the free allergy. So I don't think these two criteria is fixed in southern, southern part of country. So I make a, oh, okay, for Dr. Favold, if we find a five satisfied criteria has a sensitivity of 80, 85%, a specificity of 79%, the dog is atopic dermatitis. However, if six full field parameter increased the specificity to 89%, but decrease the sensitive to 58%. I still cannot figure out why. So in Taiwan, I will combine Dr. Wedensis and Dr. Prelaud. I try to set up a, a Taiwan criteria. The first, pruritus. The dog must be pruritus. And the bilateral regions of the plantar surface of the interdigital species space of the front part. Yeah, I always see this lesion. On set the sign between six months and the three years. I always saw this. But in Taiwan, I found the Shizu, the onset of the disease very late. So most of the Shizu onset the lesion is over five years old. I don't know how the situation in India but Shizu is late. And the peribocal erysema, or erysema of the medial surface of the pinna. Yeah, I always see those lesions. And it is, I don't see many, less than 10% of my case reveal those kinds of lesions. So I take off this criteria. Recurrent, sorry, recurrent dermatitis for greater than two years but we must care for it. We need to make a, a, a very good definition. What is recurrent pyoderma or recurrent dermatitis? Should I say? <laughs> okay. For if we, we are facing on a pyoderma, 
we must we need to know it is a recurrent pyoderma or it is this isn't cured or it is another another onset if we treat the pyoderma for four, four weeks and the lesion disappear we need add two more weeks antibiotic therapy so totally therapeutic period is six weeks then if the dog recurrent within after the six week then we say we didn't cure the dog's pyotherma. If the dog onset after this, the six week is good, after the six week, then we say it is a recurrent. Recurrent pyotherma means we, we haven't found some underlying cause make the dog easy get pyotherma, but not related with our fault. We didn't cure correctly. We, we use uh, wrong antibiotics or we didn't educate people, the owner we should have a longer antibiotic therapy. But if the dog recur, uh, onset an, another pyotherma after a few months, that means the dog has another infection, reinfection, but it's not recurrent or is not didn't cure it. Okay. So we must make a very careful definition what is recurrent. Okay. A breed predilection, yes. In Taiwan, we also have some, some special breed predilected to atopic dermatitis. Family history in Taiwan is very difficult to identify the pedigree. People can go to the pet shop and say, hey, I buy a poodle yesterday. And the pet shop owner doesn't remember. He said, oh, is a male or female? And uh, how old is the dog? And they will sign, and okay, pay me 150, 150 Taiwan dollar. You can get the, the certification maybe one week later. <laughs> so the pedigree is fake. So it's difficult to, to know the pedigree. So it's, it's nonsense to, to know the pedigree in Taiwan. So I take off, I take off this criteria. And the dog really in Taiwan, lot of Labrador retriever or golden retriever, they will onset the clinical signs after they go to the park or they go to the mountain and they will onset the clinical signs. So I still keep this criteria in my criteria. Rhinitis is very rare to find in my clinical case, so I take off. History of articarias and angioedema is really very rare to find in my cases I take off. Acrodic dermatitis, yes. The dog are always leaking. So when I find a leaking dog, you must care for is the leaking signs will progress to scratching and some, some other clinical signs as the atopic dermatitis should reveal. Hyperhidrosis, yes. The dog always has much sweat than the normal dog. Lichenifications on the fault of the hook and or the cranial surface of carpus. Yes, this always see in my cases. So I use this criteria to diagnose my cases. If the dog fix five criteria, I will say this dog should be atopic dermatitis. Okay, that's the definition how we diagnose atopic dermatitis. Is the IgE serum test available in here? No? Well, in Taiwan, recently, since two or three years ago, there's three companies they develop the, the IgE serum test. Even there has a local company, they develop a microarray method to test for the IgE. So they educate the, all the veterinarians say, if you, you think you, the dog is atopic dermatitis, you just test the IgE, then you will know the dog is atopic dermatitis or not. And all the panel in the IgE test, about half item is related with food, and that is nonsense. Because food allergy, we cannot diagnose food allergy according to the IgE test. 
Okay. So if there's a company they they set up in India and they will educate people that I think that is incorrect. Incorrect. So today we know we must know how to control the KNA atopic dermatitis. I don't say cure because an allergic disease cannot cure. We only can control the lesions. And within the control protocol, we, we try to give the pet a better life quality. Try to give a better life quality to the pet owner, but we cannot control, uh, cannot cure. Well, that's why I like dermatology, because the, the crime will always come just for antihistamine and they were happy because you can control the itching. We only control. But we know, we must know we, we need to control what? First of all, we need 